Once there was a small village hidden deep within the dense forests of Himachal Pradesh, known as Kaltara. It was said that anyone who entered this village never returned. The place had been abandoned for decades, with tales of hauntings, dark rituals, and vengeful spirits keeping people away. Our protagonist, Arian, a curious young man with a knack for exploring the unknown, heard about Kaltara through old folklore. Fascinated, he decided to venture into the village, despite warnings from the locals. Aryan believed the village held a hidden treasure and wanted to uncover the truth behind the mysterious disappearances. As Aryan approached the village, the air grew colder and the forest seemed to close in around him. There were no sounds of birds, no rustling of leaves, just an eerie silence that made his heart race. The first sight of Kaltara was unsettling. Old, crumbling houses, broken windows, and an ancient well that stood ominously in the centre of the village. Aryan felt a sudden chill as if unseen eyes were watching him. He brushed it off, thinking it was just his nerves, and continued exploring. As he walked further, he noticed strange symbols carved into the walls of the houses, symbols that seemed to glow faintly in the dim light. Suddenly, Aryan heard a faint whisper calling his name. He turned around to find an old woman with a weathered face and hollow eyes staring at him from a distance. She warned him to leave immediately, saying, This place is cursed, boy. The spirits of those who died here never rest. Leave before it's too late. Arian, determined to find answers, ignored her warning. He asked about the village's history, but the old woman simply repeated, The spirits won't let you leave now. As night fell, Arian decided to stay in one of the abandoned houses. As he set up his camera to document his findings, strange things started happening. The walls seemed to whisper, shadows moved without any source, and a cold wind blew through the room, though there were no windows. Arian tried to sleep but was awoken by the sound of footsteps echoing in the hallway. He grabbed his flashlight and ventured out, only to see a shadowy figure standing at the end of the hall. Its eyes glowed red and it whispered in a language Arian couldn't understand. Terrified, Arian ran back to his room, locking the door behind him. The next morning, Arian found an old diary hidden beneath the floorboards. The diary belonged to a man named Raghav, the last villager who lived in Kaltara. It detailed the village's dark past. Years ago, a cult had settled there, performing rituals to summon evil spirits. The villagers tried to stop them, but the cult cursed the land, trapping the souls of anyone who died there. As Arian read the final entry, the last words sent chills down his spine. The spirits are angry. They want revenge. They won't let anyone leave. Alive. Desperate to escape, Arian rushed out of the house. But the village had changed. What was once a clear path out was now a maze of twisted trees and fog. The spirits of the villagers appeared around him, their faces twisted in agony, blocking his way. Arian realized he was trapped, just like the others before him. He heard the old woman's voice again, but this time, it was coming from the shadows. You were warned, she whispered. Arian tried to run, but no matter which way he turned, he ended up back at the ancient well in the center of the village. The spirits closed in, and Arian, in a final attempt to save himself, threw the diary into the well, hoping to break the curse. For a moment, everything went silent. But then, a powerful force pulled Aryan towards the well, and he was dragged into the darkness. Days later, Aryan's camera was found near the village's entrance, with footage showing the horrifying events he experienced. But Aryan was never seen again, becoming just another lost soul in the cursed village of Kaltara. This was the story of Aryan and the forgotten village of Kaltara a tale that reminds us that some mysteries are best left unsolved. If you ever hear whispers calling your name from the dark, remember, some places are cursed for a reason.